friends, how the hell are we doing? It's really, really early again. Uh, I'm on the Roman field today for the simple reason is that there's, there's farm work going on all the others. You might hear when I'm filming later, if I find anything to film, uh, you can hear buzzing of machinery and chattering of various different Eastern European languages. And uh, it's a busy farm. Right, we're going to try the tunic field, I'm going to, uh, the Roman field. I'm going to turn you around. Now we've, we've done a bit on that slope. The simplex has had a sniff of that slope, but we've never actually done the bottom flat bits. These bits all along here. We've never actually been along there at all. Don't know why. Uh, the ground's sodden. We've had that much rain. I've actually just passed an arc. So that's, that's not bad. That's not something you see every day. So we're going to give this flat bit a go. I don't know what's here. We'll have a look. <laughs> I can smell a little bit of history. If I'm honest. And I think we should go and find it. What do you think? Should we go and find it? Do you want to come? Alright, I'll take you with me. See you. Oh, hang on. I've also got a new toy. Marcus, not to 11, who is officially the king of Essex, has sent me a new toy, which is a pinpointer. And if I press uh, press this button, da -doing, you get the force. You see the little light comes up there? It's all, it's all good. So we're gonna, I've never, never really used one before, so uh, we're going to have a play with that as well. Cheers, Marcus. Nice touch. Uh, I'll see you on the first one, shall I? Yeah. Let's hope it's a goodie. See you in a bit. Tiny little coin. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's pinpointer and machine not getting on with each other. Hey, Penny. It's been a while since we've seen one of those, isn't it? Well, I presume it's a hey, Penny. Let's have a look. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We like that. <laughs> Lovely. Well, I'm all the way up to the top of the road. We've had that little lead disc. We've had a, uh, a decimal halfpenny. And now we've got a World War II webbing buckle. Not the greatest of successes so far. But hey, you can't have it all to do a time, can you? You can't have uh, stunning vines every single time. Right, so now I'm going to go all the way back down that one and then get a cup of tea at the bottom. Uh, nice little patterned every button by the looks of it. That should clean up. That was practically on the top, as you can tell by the colour of it. Didn't really have to dig for that. Uh, this field's not been very kind at the moment. I think I might move on somewhere else. I'll get down the bottom, pour myself a cup of tea. I haven't got that far to go, just down there. Have a quick cup of tea and make my mind up. I think we might move on somewhere else. Well, it's tea time. Moved on about 100 yards, I suppose. Back that way. Now, the hospital's over there, the ancient leper hospital's over there, and the water course is there. So, there must be a path or an ancient path somewhere that leads from there to there. So, I'm going to give this bottom bit one more row and go up and down. I've been Getting used to my uh, now didgeridoo. You can see I, I have been using it. You, I do have to change pretty much the whole complete way that I'm I, I'm used to searching. I've been doing it my own way for over ten years now. So actually stopping getting this out and having a fiddle, but it is slowing me down. Um, but uh, you know I'll, I'll, I'll persevere. I'll persevere. I'm, I'm not being ungrateful. It was uh, it was a lovely gesture. Um, so far we've got hate me. Modern halfpenny, bit of lead, and that bit of fancy button, and a webbing buckle. But as you can see, I don't think know if you can. If I come a bit closer, it's just I can't get to, can't focus on that right now for you. But just trust me. If I pick that up, yeah, just rubble. There you go. That's it. So far the day, nothing spectacular. Nothing special, nothing that's going to uh, mean I can retire, not just yet. So we'll keep on, we'll do another uh, another one row, and if uh, we get nothing of any success or anything that's worth uh, talking about, then we'll, uh, 
we go over the other side of the water to the farthing field because that always gives us something doesn't it we're going to have a look over there now i've told this particular field that i'm going i'm going up to the top there another 100 yards or so and then i'm darting back down to my bag and going to a different field so it gives me a coin so george the George fifth 1919 half penny it's a coin it's not what i want field give me better come on um uh, uh um uh um uh, oh. mm. how cute is that one that's a titty tiny one lost the tail but apart from that that's pretty cool. There was the pin, that's going to clean up lovely. That's the buffs. Wow, that's nice, I like that. Find of the day for me so far. About the only thing we found today. Very nice. Right, I've moved to Farthing Orchard. As you can see, I've picked a random row. I'm going to whiz down and whiz back. I spent three hours on field yonder. And to be honest, I would probably found more in my garden. So, random row, I'm going to speed search it. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Hopefully, we can find some history, because we know it's there, yeah. I just can't find it. Right, wish me luck, fingers crossed, I'm going in. I only just make it out. It is a young head, Victoria. There she is. So that's what, pre-1860. Very good. Very good. Something old. <laughs> um, uh, uh, no. I don't know. Mm. Too light. It's not. Shame. And now, I think we've gone proper old. Uh. I think there's something on there. Not much. No, certainly not that side. But I think we might be able to ID that. That Roman? I think that could be. <laughs> it's a bit toasted though, isn't it? See what we can find on that later. Definitely right around the outside, isn't there? Interesting. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's... A face there. May just well be. Look at that. May well be. Cool beans. Watch you guys. We're back at the ranch. And that's what was in my pockets, my fines pouch and everything else. There you go. That's a typical day of a detector. That's the stuff you have to plough through before you find all the good stuff. It's not all sweetness and light and silver hammered, you know. Right. We go through... Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, um, could it be? Could it be? Mm, button folded over. Is it a little bit of? I think it's nearer glod than gold. Doesn't feel quite right. I'm not doing any dancing on the strength of that. Uh, bun head. <laughs> That's not offensive, that's what the coin's known as, Victoria Bunhead. Mr. George. And Mom, Hypenny. Nice delivery button. I haven't really cleaned it much. There is a pattern on it. I don't really know what it is yet. I haven't worked on it. Another little delivery button. Quite a tiny little stud. Look at that. It's quite detailed, isn't it? Do you see that? There you go. 
for a little stud, that's not bad. Now that could be quite old. Maybe a bit of a buckle, I don't know. But that's quite decorative. We like that. Hmm, I wish there'd been more of that. And then we've got a, a pre 1930s collar badge from the South East Kent Regiment, the Buffs, my grandfather's regiment. There you go. Uh, no tail on it. But that and the pin are the only thing that are missing. Apart from that, that's, that's lovely. I've never found one that small before. I've normally got the bigger ones. So that's uh, that's quite good. So there you go. We'll sort for all of this, put it all in its relevant buckets, ready for uh, weighing in at some point. Uh, this is the 50th video, so it's a, it's a birthday video. I need to say thank you to... Uh, Layla for doing just some more graphics for me. Thank you very much. Go and check it out. Layla Mustafa. Go and have a look at some of her stuff on uh, YouTube. She's a wonderful lady. Very talented. Meanwhile, you and I are going to go and have a chat about this fella. Can we see him? There he is. Yes. Let's go and have a quick chat about him. Now this, if I can get it in focus for you, is a Roman Imperial Valens, it's called, from the year 365 to 378. Can we see him? There's not much to show you on the other side of it, unfortunately. But that's how that cleaned up. I'm not too sure if you can see that or not. I'll put a photograph of it, as always, at the end. Now, from 365, okay? Now in the year, I'll put this down, in the year 285, a previous emperor, or two previous Roman emperors had decided that the Roman Empire was so big, it was so vast by then, that it couldn't be controlled in one place or by one person. So they had co-emperors, okay? So it was divided up into two, East Province and West Province. The East Province was based, uh, the headquarters was based in uh, uh, the east is in Byzantium, which is Constantinople, Turkey, and the western province was um, centred in Milan, and they used Rome as a, a as a as the, as the capital. But it was it was Milan was where it was properly based, and this coin is issued uh, by the actual emperor at the time was. <laughs> Flavius, hang on, let me get this right now, this is difficult, Flavius Valentinianus, who changed his name to Valentinus I. His brother, he made co-emperor, which was Valens, which is the chap on the coin. Now Valens was in charge of the um, eastern province, the eastern province of uh, the Roman Empire which included the UK. Now, there was, Valence has gone down in history, and uh, I, I can quote, he was described, uh, in, in contemporary documents, he was described as um, indecisive, impressionable, um, mediocre, and utterly undistinguishable. Absolute uh, nothing. There was a big punch up in, um, three six seven when uh the saxons the um scots and the irish all kind of somehow managed to communicate with each other and they um they uh coordinated attacks on on various villages in britain absolutely decimated the villages pillaged them kicked the stuff in out of everybody hoofed all the Romans out of the way, and there was just lawlessness, absolute anarchy. And this was all on Valens' watch, and he was just there going, oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Couldn't make a decision, absolute wet, wet drip. Uh, his brother, who was in charge of the West, sent his uh, leading general two years later to come and sort it all out, and he just went bof, 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 and sorted it all out. But all the way, meanwhile, Valens was there going, oh, I don't know. So there you go, Valens has gone down in history, it was completely mediocre. Absolute rubbish, but his, <laughs> in contrast, his brother, who was in charge of the, the other province, he, um, he in, introduced some schools, he, he made sure that uh, the children were educated. He banned and made illegal infanticide. 
So at, at some point for the first 300 plus years of the Roman Empire, infanticide was legal. Don't want your kids, just kill them, just get rid of them, chuck them away. Uh, yeah, so he, he had some good things going for him, the brother Valentinius I, but he, uh, he also had a bit of a temper. He used to travel around with two bears in a cage, big iron cage, he used to wheel them about everywhere, and every now and then, on a whim, he chucked one of his servants or one of his attendants in there for a trivial minor offence, just, yeah, chuck them to the bears, there you go. That's the Romans for you. God bless her. <laughs> Cheers for watching, I'll see you guys on the next one. Mind how you all go. Ta-da.